The stallholder's face wasn't a great ad for running a kebab stand. Embarrassed as I am to admit it, you can spot an American tourist a mile off. It was a guess, but I figured the woman to be an American tourist. Just call me Sherlock. There were some great bargains on the shelf, providing you ran a junk museum. I hadn't come all this way to seek out curios. The cat was an ugly brute who looked like he owned the joint. Ah, bad-tempered as well as ugly. As I didn't see the point of going all the way over there to get scratched, I stayed where I was. It was the sort of bell you see in hotel receptions. Uh, kind of unexpected here. The stand was being watched by a young boy, maybe 12 years old. Hey there, young fella. Speak you the English? Speak you the Anglaise? Uh, Parlez-vous anglais? Yes, see, si, and indeed we, oui. and rather better than you by the sound of it. My name is Nicho. Welcome to my grand emporium of quality merchandise. That's not a very friendly cat you got there, Nijo. No, sir. It is a very unfriendly cat. Why do you keep it? Oh, it's not mine. It just rests where it pleases, and today it pleases to rest there. As Kipling would say, it is a cat that walks by itself. Fiercely independent. And it smells. So, this is your stand? Oh, yes, sir. Though stand does not begin to do it justice. The finest in this bustling metropolis. This is a bustling metropolis? Well, not per se, no. How much are those books there on the shelf? Have you any Syrian pounds? I think I might have a couple of Irish pun. Then they're too expensive for you, sir. You speak very good English. Thank you, sir. I learned from tapes that my uncle procured. Oh, a language course. No, sir. Jeeves and Wooster. Gussie, Fink, Noto, Aunt Agatha, Wothole. Is that your father lurking in the back of the stand? He is indeed. A roaring fellow. Ayub's his name. You don't sound like you respect him very much. Don't I? Not only do I respect him, I rather like him. For all his bluster, we get on very well. Does the word Templar mean anything to you? Templar. Ah, Templar. <gasps> Templar. Why, yes, of course. It does? Yes. A splendid series of books by Mr. Leslie Chatteris, featuring the roguish Mr. Simon Templar. Great. That's a real help, Nijo. Anything else? The Saint television program featuring Mr. Roger Moore of the quizzical eyebrow and a stick man with a halo. Bing! So all Templar means to you is Roger Moore. I only watched it for the stick man with the halo. Bing! He was better animated. So, I'm correct in saying that the word Templar doesn't mean much to you. Well, there was the Order of Knights who were wiped out in an Inquisition in 1312, I suppose. That's them. 
What else do you know? Just how much information do you think there is on a Trivial Pursuit card? A what? From the medieval edition. We had it on the stand a couple of years ago. Ask me what a future is. Go on, I know all this stuff. Uh, never mind. Okay, forget about the Templars for a minute. What do you know about knights? Like the Crusaders? They came to the East on an insane and pointless mission. They sacrificed thousands of lives, including their own, for insensate pride. How anyone can find them romantic confounds me. Here, shake hands, Nijo. I'd rather not, sir. Have you seen this man before? No, sir. I'm glad to say. Cold eyes. What do you make of this? Hmm. A man-sized double-ply tissue stained with Bestheimer's number 12 white pancake grease paint, apparently. This plaster was very useful in Ireland. Really? Your fund of traveler's tales never ceases to enthrall me. What do you make of this? Well, beyond the obvious, very little. That pattern seems very familiar, though. Do you know the name Merlin? I'm afraid not, old bean. What can I do with a blood pressure gauge? Don't tempt me to tell you, sir. Look at this. A lifting key as used by Parisian sewer workers. Kalu, Kalei, sir. I must remember this day for posterity. My grandchildren will be fascinated. What do you think of this, eh? Oh, sir, what a splendid plaything. One day, when I am rich, I am going to build a world-renowned collection of brightly colored balls. Are you serious? In deadly earnest. People will come from far and wide to see my... Yes? Collection. The Rockefellers and the Gettys can keep their hordes of so-called fine art. But answer me this. What good is a Picasso, I ask you, if you cannot bounce it off a wall? You may have a point. Seriously, do you really think this thing's so great? Take it away, you tempter! I'll swap it for something off your stand. Um... Due to seasonal financial considerations, I'm afraid I cannot. I thought you wanted this thing. I do, sir. This stand doesn't. Which in translation meant it's not really my stand, and I'll be in big trouble if I swap anything for something that I want myself. Alternatively, is there any service that you require? Not at the moment, but I'll bear it in mind. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Hi, uh, I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, sure, son. Always got time for a fellow American. The name's Henderson. Dwayne Henderson. Pleased to meet you, Mr. Henderson. Hell, boy. I'm not in the office. Call me Dwayne. Oh, okay. Dwayne? My name's George Stobart. You're a long way from home, Dwayne. Could say the same about you, George. Me? Well, I'm just sightseeing, that's all. Without a camera? Kinda lags to come all this way, not take pictures. Mind if I take a picture of you, George? What? Why? Ow! You could've warned me. You don't mind, do you, George? The folks back home will be real interested. What exactly do you do, Dwayne? Didn't I say? Oh, I run a greeting card company. Yep, we're based in Cleveland, Ohio. Pearl writes the poems for him. You ought to ask her to recite some. Where is your wife, Dwayne? Pearl? Oh, she's around, looking for bargains. How long have you been married, Dwayne? Hell, must be uh, 30 years now. Have you talked to Nijo? Nijo? 
He's the youngster on that junk stand, right? Yeah, we've met him. He's a smart kid, speaks four languages, and he's never had a day's formal education. He should go far. Kept trying to peddle garbage on us, though. You're not going to find much worthwhile around here. I know that, and you know that. But try telling Pearl. She reckons there's antiquities in them door stands. Do you think bulls have any significance around here? Weird question, George. Nope, I don't think they have. I saw a medieval picture of a woman. Royalty or nobility, something like that. She was looking in a mirror, but the reflection was of a man with three faces. What do you think of that? Well, I think you should be in therapy. Do you mind if I ask you an odd question? Okay, but I might not answer it. Do you know anything about the Templars? The Knights Templar? Yep. Nope. Nothing at all. Well, you knew they were an order of knights. What I know and what I say are two different things, boy. I haven't lasted as long as I have in this business without knowing that. In this business? Sure. The greetings card business. Oh, please. Does the image of a knight holding a crystal ball mean anything to you? Hell no. What would a knight want with a hunk of glass? I don't know. That's the prob... What's wrong, boy? It's not a crystal ball. It all came together in my head. What the conspirators had mentioned losing. The strange perspective of the manuscript. It's a lens! Shake hands, Dwayne. Why? I'm just being friendly. Let's just be friendly by keeping our hands to ourselves. Yeah? Have you seen this man before? Maybe. Where'd you get it? I just picked it up somewhere. Sure. I'm always picking up photos of complete strangers and then asking around. Ow! Damn it! There. I've got another picture of a complete stranger. Maybe I'll ask around about this one. Look, I've got some plaster of Paris. Yeah, and I've got a picture of me shaking hands with George Bush. Of course, that was back in 76. What do you think of this grease paint stained tissue? You've been hanging around with actors? What do you make of this? A manhole lifting key. So? Hey, how come you recognize it? Hey, how come you're carrying it? Yeah, well, let's just drop the subject, shall we? Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Nothing. Nothing at all. Do you know the name Merlin? Nope. What do you think of this? A blood pressure gauge? Why in blue blazes are you carrying that? I'm carrying it for a friend. What do you think of this? It's a ball. Big deal. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. The stand had kebabs dangling from the canopy. As a marketing device, it lacked something. Close up, I could see flies love kebabs. Hi, what's your name, sir? Hello, hello, you buy kebab. Most cool. What do you think of this? Buy kebab? Come to the... I'd value your opinion on this, sir. La, you buy kebab? None? What do you make of this, sir? You buy kebab. You buy kebab. Yum, most good. I'd value your opinion on this, sir. Nah, you buy kebab. None? Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. The merchant was selling fruit. I decided I might have some later. The stand was selling some fruit I didn't recognize. This is what travel is all about. 
roam the world and discover strange fruit. The stand was hawking ancient machine parts. The stand was hawking ancient machine parts that seemed to be from a stripped down printing press. I couldn't imagine where they'd come from or who'd want them. How did this guy make a living selling useless old machine parts in the middle of nowhere? Hello. I was wondering whether you could help me. Why, hi there, handsome. What can I do for you? Hi, my name's George. I was just... Well, it certainly is delightful to meet you, George. I was... My name's Mrs. Henderson, but you can call me Pearl, I'm sure. Okay, Pearl. I was... So nice to meet a friendly American face so far from home. Pearl? Yes, dear? I was just wondering if you could help me. Why, sure, precious. I've been talking to your husband, Dwayne. Oh. Yeah, he tells me that he runs a greeting card company and you write the poems that go in them. Oh, yes, indeed. I consider myself the artiste of the family. Tell me, George, would you like to hear one of my poems? Yes, go on then. Okay then, darling, here we go. Our sympathy upon this time, when your heart doth break. I like the doth. Classy, isn't it? We know the grief that must entail when your schnauzer gets bitten by a snake. Ah, it still touches me. What do you think, George? It's very specific, isn't it? You think so? We sell a lot of those, dear. Have you talked to the boy on the bric-a-brac stand? Oh, you've met him? His name's Nijo, you know. Oh, he's just so cute, I could die. I'd love to bundle him up and take him back to Ohio. He might not thank you. I'm looking for something ancient, you know. Something to impress the folks back home. The poor boy was trying to do his best, but we still haven't found anything. Do you know anything about medieval weaving? I do a little needlework, but gosh. It's okay. It was a long shot. So, tell me a little about yourself, Pearl. Me? Oh, a gentleman's interest is always so flattering. Well, my husband and I run a greetings card company in a cute little place called Akron in Ohio. Akron? Cute? Little? You said that your company is based in Akron. And Dwayne said it's in Cleveland, no doubt. Well, yes, he did. Dwayne was in the Marines and Vietnam, you know. Anyway, he got a medical discharge. Thing is, he gets confused. We moved away from Cleveland five years ago. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean... He also gets a little paranoid. Thinks he's a spy or something. I'm so sorry, Pearl. Don't worry yourself, George. We live with it. Have you ever heard of a group of knights called the Templars? Sounds familiar. I remember. Dwayne had a book. The Holy Something and the Holy Something Else I can't quite recall. I read a little of it. And? Seemed like a lot of hooey to me. I liked her too much to zap her with the buzzer. Have you seen this man before? No. A friend of yours? No, not really. What do you make of this grease paint stained tissue? Oh, it's grease paint. I thought somebody had gaudy taste and makeup. I've got some plaster of Paris. That's nice, dear. Does this matchbook mean anything to you? You're a feluminist. Don't they have secret handshakes? Oh, George, now you're teasing. Have you ever heard of anybody calling himself Merlin? Merlin? No, Merlin. Merlin. There's an O in there. Moolin? You haven't, have you? No, darling. No Moolin. What do you think of this? Oh, looks scientific. It's a blood pressure thing, isn't it? Do you know what this is? Lord, no. It looks painful, though. It's a sewer key. Who'd want to break into a sewer? What does this mean to you? Gosh, is this some sort of psychological test? No, 
Oh, well in that case it's a red ball. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? What do you know about that couple? Oh, they're American. Is that all? The chap's a little odd. As for the lady, it's a funny thing. But I get the impression she's a lot cleverer than she's letting on. Who's the guy selling the kebabs? Oh, that's Arto. A miserable blighter to be sure, sir. He doesn't seem very happy. He never is. Day in, day out, a face like a wet Wednesday. Whatever one of those is. Does he speak any English? Not cogently, no. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. The carpet seller had an impressive collection of wares. If I had the time and the money, I might have bought a couple of rugs. It must have taken him all morning just to set up his stall. It was the pattern. I'd seen that pattern somewhere recently. The carpet seller looked craftier than the offspring of a fox and an insurance agent. Muruba! Hello, sir! Does this mean anything to you? Yes, yes, carpets, yes? What do you think of this? Lovely carpets, yes! What do you think of this? Hello, sir, lovely carpet! Does this matchbook mean anything to you? Ah! Give to me! Give to me! A la mood. Beneficent greetings, my most fortunate possible friend. Huh? Do I know you, mister? No. No. And again I say, no. But, my friend, do you not see our mutual good fortune in this meeting? How frank do you want me to be? You are a traveler, yes? Boy, you must be the world's greatest detective. No. I am told that is Sherlock Holmes of the big forehead and slipper full of shag. I, as contrast, am world's greatest luxury taxi driver. I can see where this is going. I am Ultar, taxi driver and luxury guide per excellent. Yes. This I had to hear. Where does your heart desire to go? Simply mention the name to your obedient servant and we shall fly there, swift as the eagle. Oh, well... I don't really want to leave Marib yet, but I'm sure that if I do, you'll be the first to know. He's good. You know where you want to go, you come to Ultar. Thanks. See you around, Ultar. Be having a pleasant day, full of shining experiences and happiness, my friend. The club manager's bonhomie seemed forced. Looking at the place, I could understand that. I don't know why, but I felt like I could trust this guy. The outside of the ornate spittoon was beautiful. The inside wasn't. The spittoon was nearly full. What did they sell here? Drinks or expectorants? Hi! Nice club you've got here. I was wondering if you could help me. What? I mean, I beg your pardon? I'm sorry, but I don't understand. No surprise there, all righty. He says sorry, but he not speak English. Uh, but he didn't say anything. He not have tongue. No tongue? What happened? It was bet. Ah, and he lost. He won. You should see other chappy. Oh, yes. There wasn't much point in trying to launch an in-depth conversation. 
When I couldn't speak Arabic, and he couldn't speak, period. I hadn't felt the need to spit since I was 12. Even if I'd wanted to spit, my mouth was too dry. Damn, the door's locked. Uh, I'm sorry? Did, did you say something? He say you not to go in toilet. Read sign, matey. Matey? It lose something in translation. By staring hard at the notice and squinting, I discovered I couldn't understand a word of it. I knew the door was locked. I'd need the key to get in there. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. Shake my hand, Ultar. Ha <laughs> ha. Remind me of thing that happened month ago. Maybe six. Man come up to Ultar, say, Shake hands, Ultar. But man have electric buzz thing in his hand. Ha ha! Oh, we love! Then I broke his arms. I didn't think electrocuting the big Syrian was a good idea. This place is certainly hard to find. Oh, yes, it is most exclusive. The membership can be no more than... Hmm... Kind sir, what would you guess the population of the village to be? Gee, I don't know, a couple of thousand? Then I would estimate the membership to be no more than a couple of thousand. What do you make of that boy in the market, Nejo? Nejo? Ha! Ayub's boy is too big for sandals. I speak splendid English and he laugh. He say, Ultar, you big ox, you split infinitive. I say, I split your head if you stay still long enough. Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! Pretty funny, yes? Hilarious! You should be on cable. What do you know about the kebab seller? A most miserable man. Ultar say, cheer up, matey mate, it might never happen. And he say, shut up, Ultar. Fancy that. Not at all. Arto has face like the drizzle that falls on the midweek afternoon. Whatever that is. Have you met the American couple? Have Ultar met them? Have Ultar met them? Yes, Ultar have met them. And? The most ungenerous. Ultar offer to show them wonders of countryside. They say, is there anything ancient? Ultar say, yes, of course, nature is ancient. They say, no, anything ancient made by men. And Ultar say, have you seen taxi? Fan belt older than Ozymandias. Ha 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 ha! But they gone. Could you tell me what that sign means? It's a door stay shut until brush come back. Signed, the management. Oh, well, what does that mean? Manager buy lovely new toilet brush, leaves it by wash basin for ten minutes, come back, it's been stealing. Stolen. Not even out of wrapper. He damn cross. Lock up toilet and say, nobody use fine pristine toilet until brush given back. We say, what we do till then, eh? He say, cross legs and use superior willpower. And that's what you've been doing? No. Ultar use bucket. Do you know anything about the Templars? Of course. Yes? What can you tell me? Great Shebop band of the 60s. Uh, no, n that's not really... Who put the bop in the bop, 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 bop? Yeah, eternal questions. What do you think of this plaster? Not much there. Not enough to make tasteful garden gnome, for example. How about a really small garden gnome? Ultar not think so. This is a key for lifting manhole covers. You carry some strange stuff with you, mister. What do you think of this? Is gadget. It's a blood pressure gauge. Blood pressure gauge is what Ultar said. What do you think of this ball? Is most splendid, mister. What does this grease paint stained tissue mean to you? Nothing. Why? What does grease paint stained tissue mean to you? Uh, that is not a good idea. Have you seen this man before? Oh, most certainly. Was here only yesterday. Here? Yesterday? My God, he's close!
Yes, he was asking a lot of questions, just like you. What did he ask about? He asked about American called Stoby. Stobart? Yes, Stobart. You know him. The killer knew my name. What else did he ask about? He asked about German man called Klobner. I tried to remember the name of the man the conspiracy had lost in Syria. Was his name Klausner? Sure, that is what Oltar said. Klausner. I told this man in the picture, Klausner wanted to go up to Bull's Head. Hold on, he wanted to go where? Bull's Head. Big hill, ten mile out of town. Maybe sixty. When was that? Oh, maybe a week ago. What can you tell me about this Bull's Head Hill? It's most magnificent, lovely views. Worth visiting, yes, by indeedity. How do I get there? No. Let me guess. You need fine luxury guy to take you there in air-conditioned taxi. Woe is me. Where can I find such a guide? And Ultar is most luxurious guide for most literally some way. In any direction. Gee willikers, lucky old me. Are you desirous of my pleasant and luxuriant service? All right, let's go. First, I regret the formalities. A trip to the bull's head. Fifty Yankee dollars, please. Fifty bucks? I don't have fifty bucks. Oh, most unhappy event. Ultar then sorry, but he cannot take you on ride of lifetime. Hold on, Ultar. Is there nothing I could barter with you? Word that it was so, beloved friend. But my taxi needs gas, and its muffler needs the muffler doctor. Trading for these things is not possible. My heart weeps for the injustice, but it's box or zip, or oh, unfortunate American. Well, I still don't have any cash on me, American or otherwise. Oh, unfortunate, most extreme. The delights of the Bull's Head Hill then must wait, I fear. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. I figured going out into the countryside was a pretty good way to get lost. Suddenly, I realized the horrific truth. The guy was basting the kebabs with a toilet brush. Well, goodbye. Have a nice day. Most good. In the still air, the smell hung around like bad smells do. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? I met an interesting guy earlier, a cab driver. Ah, that would have to be Uta, a barbaric sort of chap. Oh, he's not that bad. You know how he speaks in Pidgin English? That's how he speaks in Arabic too. Look, this is going to sound a bit strange, but I need Arto's brush. What? The brush he bastes the kebabs with? Yes. Let me find some dirty postcards for you instead. Nijo, this is serious. Ardo stole that brush he's using from a friend, and I want to get it back. Perhaps I could help you, old chap. Uh, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe what? Perhaps what? I do not wish to see mercenaries, sir, but uh, I am a merchant, and merchants trade. Merchant? This isn't Sears and Roebuck here. Well, if you're going to be disagreeable... No, no, you're right. Uh, what would you like? I seem to recall that you have something that might alleviate my boredom. A globe of delight. A Rubicon spheroid of heavenly pleasure. You mean the ball, don't you? A tiny spherule of form that barely spans my hand, yet promises hours of amusement. If you mean the ball, why don't you just say so? Can I have the ball back, mister? All right, here you go. 
Thank you, sir. People say bad things about Americans, but you're okay in my book. What people? What bad things? Never mind that now. Remember the brush? Right, yes, the brush. All you have to do with Arto is be polite. It lightens his day, makes it all worthwhile for him again. How can I be polite to the guy when I can't speak a word of Syrian? Arabic. That's what I meant. Simply memorize this phrase. Il ach il kalb. Il ach il kalb. Close enough. Now, go over to Arto and deliver those honeyed words even unto his delicate ear. He won't be able to do enough for you. Really? Really. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Hello again, sir. Hello. Kebab? Mmm. Yes? Um, il akul kalb? Filthy! Bad! Bad! I kill you! Whoa! Calm down! I just... Feet, do your thing. I... Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. I am blessed with your bountiful presence once more. What does il akal kalb mean? Who teach you that? Najo told me to say it to Arto. And Arto come after you with big knife, yes? Yeah. How did you know? I know Arto. You tell him in bad Arabic that his kebabs made from dog meat. I said he was using dog food? No wonder he went crazy. No. Ultar not mean meat for dog. Ultar mean meat of dog. Oh. Ooh. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. What the heck did you tell me to tell him? Patience, sir. Patience? Patience? I've been chased by a homicidal kebab seller, and you expect me to be patient? But consider, sir, while you were running from the irate Arto, the irate Arto wasn't using the brush. Hold on. Are you telling me that I've been used as a diversionary tactic? Your brush, sir. I can't believe that you put me on that kebab seller's death list for a toilet brush. The ends justified the means, sir. Yeah, but I noticed it wasn't your butt that was on the line, though. They also serve who only stand and wait, sir. Oh, spare me. Thanks for getting the brush and risking my life to do it. Anytime. Glad to be of service. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. It's such a pleasure to see you again. Have you met the taxi man, Ultar? Heavens, yes. What a big man. Very muscular. But you didn't go for a ride. Why, George, you're absolutely the most... Oh, you mean a taxi ride? No, Dwayne wasn't interested, so it didn't happen. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? No. No, I haven't. Is it nearby? I'm not sure. Sounds awful romantic. The Bull's Head Hill. Have you had anything from the kebab stand? Heavens no, with my digestion. 
Do you know what il akal kalb means? My, sounds romantic. Yeah, I don't think it is, though. Look what that kebab seller was basting the meat with. Oh my god! That's a brush for, you know, the commode? I'm afraid so. Thank heavens I didn't eat anything there. Oh, that's just too horrible. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? Have you met Ultar? Almost luxurious air-conditioned taxi ride, mister. Yeah, the cabbie. Tried to pull a bunco on us. Take us on a wild goose chase off into nowhere. Have you ever heard of a hill called the Bull's Head? Can't say as I have. Where's that? I don't know. I'm trying to find out. Bull's Head, huh? I must remember that. Sounds scenic. Have you had any dealings with the kebab seller? Absolutely not. Pearl's already had one attack of Montezuma's revenge. I've got a toilet brush. What do you want me to do? Dance around with joy? Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. It was a short-handled brush. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. Look, I've got the toilet brush back. Hmm, you man of action, all righty. Don't just wave at me. Give to manager. See you around, Ultar. May good fortune follow you, mister. Here's your brush, sir. It wasn't easy getting it back. The manager took the brush from me, gave me the toilet keys as my reward, and stomped off. What was all that about? Manager, he say, Bah! Look at state of this! Need much cleaning in detergent before go around my you bend! He said all that? Body language account for much, you know? Oh, yes, indeedy. It was the key to the club toilet. And I thought the French had strange toilets. I hadn't drunk anything since the morning, and I didn't need to use it. The design of the toilet was a little different from what I was used to, but a toilet chain is a toilet chain all over the world. Oops. The mirror was as clean as anything else in there. It was a roller towel dispenser. The towel sat in the open dispenser like a wad of dirty chewing gum. It was the short length of chain I'd taken from the toilet at the Club Alamut. It was a length of coarse gray toweling from the toilet at the Club Alamut.
statuette looked pretty sorry for itself after its fall, chipped with both arms broken off. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. And how may I help you this time? May I have this statuette? It is broken, after all. Certainly. And when my father deals with that feline for breaking it, you can have a Davy Crockett hat as well. What does this toilet chain mean to you? Are you building a bathroom in easy installments? Hmm, maybe not. Do you recognize these keys? No. So long, Nijo. Toodle pip, sir. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. I've got the keys to a toilet here. With my digestion, you better keep them handy. <laughs> but I'm terrible. What do you think of this toilet chain? My, but you're a strange one, George. Look, a washroom towel. Oh, George. You poor, poor thing. You've had a touch of the sun. No, I'm fine, really. Are you interested in antiquities? Am I? What have you got there, George? How about this fine statuette? Oh, George, that'd be ideal, except, I don't know, it looks new, George. You would be trying to make a fool out of me, would you, George? Good God, no, Pearl. Nothing could be further from my mind. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. How can I help you, young fella? I've got the keys to a toilet here. Executive washroom? Not exactly. Here I have a washroom towel. Yes? No, that's it. Here I have a washroom towel. Oh, I was expecting a magic trick or something. What does this toilet chain mean to you? It means that somewhere, somebody can't flush the toilet. What do you think of this? Hmm. Looks like the kind of thing Pearl might be interested in. Not old enough, though. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. The grease paint had worked magic. Now it looked like aged marble instead of cheap plaster. Hello again, Pearl. Why, hello, George. What do you think of this fine piece of ancient statuary? Oh, my, that's just what I've been looking for. Just one thing, though. Oh? It looks awful similar to that modern one you showed me. Ah, well, that's because... You see, that's because... That's because... That's because the first one I showed you was a modern copy of this one. And and I sought out the artist who'd done the copy and bought the original. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh, George! How can you ever forgive me? There's nothing to forgive. Believe me. Would you like it? Would I ever? I'm not carrying the money, though. If you go and find Dwayne, he'll pay you for it. If he gives you any trouble, just tell him that I want it. I've got to go now, Pearl. It's been a pleasure, George. Don't be a stranger. Hi there, Dwayne. Hi there, George. What do you think of this? Good gravy. Looks old. Yeah, I had to turn this town upside down. Boy, your luck's better than ours. Looks Roman. I wouldn't know. 
what'll they say back home? How much do you want, George? Oh, I couldn't. It's the find of a lifetime. I mean... Fifty bucks. Take it or leave it. I'll take it. Here you go. And here you go. Thanks for the money, Dwayne. This'll come in real handy. I ought to be thanking you for finding this Roman statuette. Hmm. Maybe not. Okay, well, I'll see you around, Dwayne. Count on it, George. Hi, Nijo. Hello again, sir. Hey, I got 50 bucks out of those tourists. Congratulations, sir. So long, Nijo. Toodle peep, sir. Hello again, Ultar. Praise be to Allah. Look, I've got the keys to the toilet. Is this life goal thing I read in GQ? Look what I've got. The towel from the toilet. What do you want with towel? Well, I don't know yet, do I? You sure a funny bod. Run around, collect things. What does this toilet chain mean to you? You got brush back so you could steal chain? You sure strange cookie, mister, yes? About Bull's Head Hill. Are you desirous of seeing this most splendid place? Well, maybe. A terrific bargain. Only 50 of your Yankee bucks. 50, huh? Okay, it's a deal. Here's the cash. Ah, most splendid, as you say. The cash price moolah is correct. Mister, we make with haste. Where exactly is your taxi? Because the only vehicle I can see around here is an aging army surplus truck. Yes? Ah. Okay, I'll be along in a minute. It didn't seem right to take off with the toilet keys, so I left them on the bar. Hello again, Ultar. His most splendid and adventurous client. That's your taxi? Oh, yes. Most assuredly. Most entirely splendid taxi in all Marib. It looks like an old army truck to me. Bah! You Americans with your cheeky board caps and your jut hashes. You have lost sight of what a taxi should truly be. About four tons by the look of it. There. You have hit the nail in the nutshell. Okay already, let's go. Regrettably not, most esteemed fair. There is a minor problem of a tiny nature. The fan belt has taken it upon itself to break. So, what are you gonna do? What can I do? I must wait for a ride to the garage for a replacement. How long is that gonna take? One day, maybe six. I can't wait that long, we gotta get moving. But how, my friend? I'll think of something. Is this any use to you? My friend, the very thing, yes! Ultar took the towel from me, cut it in two lengthways, and gave me half back. With his half, he did the kind of fan belt replacement that's normally done with stockings. Now, if I knot the ends together, so... Serviceable, yes? Very serviceable indeed. Stockings might work on a Bentley, but on a truck, the coarse toweling did the job nicely. Come along, my friend. You want to see the bull's head? Yes!
centuries of hot days and cold nights had opened a crack in the cliff edge, deep into the living rock. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. A young tree grew at the edge of the drop. I damaged that tree enough for one day. The stick I'd broken off was surprisingly hard and inflexible. With a flourish, I tied the end of the towel to the stick with a textbook reef knot. I was now in possession of the patented Stobart stick towel. If I could only think of a use for it. I could see that crack would make a good anchor point. Well, that looked really safe. But I had no choice. I hadn't anticipated going mountaineering when I'd come to Syria. Close up, the niche looked somehow artificial. I didn't like the idea of putting my hand in there. But hey, what the heck? I was only risking mutilation. No blade took my hand off at the wrist, and no scorpion stung me, for which I was very grateful. But there was something in there. A metal ring, as wide as my hand. I took a firm hold of the ring and tried not to think of death traps and pulled. Whoa there! The ring had done the trick all right. Around the corner I found the corpse. Oh my god! Klausner? Large as life and twice as dead. I'd hardly had time to accept the fact when I heard the door mechanism start up again. Oh man, no! The door had slammed shut, trapping me. I had a bad feeling about how Klausner had died. Whatever had been in the bottle had been drunk. Klauser must have died of thirst and dehydration. Bull whips might be handy for exploring ancient ruins, but they're no use when you're trapped in a cave. Klausner clearly fancied himself as a latter-day Indiana Jones. So much for whips. They're all show. I couldn't see any marks of violence, apart from his fingertips being scraped raw, and that seemed self-inflicted. Klausner had been pretty smart to get this far, but he was still dead. I searched the corpse. No portable phone, no demolition charges, no five-course meal. You'd think international conspirators would go around better equipped. Klausner was dead, all right. The pocket was empty. The smell of the corpse reminded me of something. Mmm. It was my favorite brie back in Paris. I've done more fun things in my life than searching a corpse. But as my life expectancy wasn't great, I figured I should try every new challenge that came my way. I cautiously flicked open the jacket. A leather pouch was tucked behind Klausner's body. Hey, what's this? I'd found some kind of lens. A very old lens made from a very hard glass. That settled it. The knight on the manuscript had been holding a lens the whole time, not a crystal ball. It was the lens that I'd found on Klausner's body. There was nothing else in the pouch. I couldn't take the inscription with me. 
All I could do was stare at it and try to memorize it. In Occidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Okay, that would have to do. I couldn't think of anything to do with the statue, apart from scaring small children with it. A stone head bearing three bearded faces. It was a strange image, but a powerful one, redolent with antiquity and ancient mysteries. The mount's open. It must be Ultar. My God, if he comes in, we'll both be trapped. Ultar, don't come in. It's a trap. Stay where you are! You! Hello, Mr. Stobart. We meet in the most unusual places. Please, do not make any sudden moves. I have no desire to maim you. Did you say maim? I did. Dead men tell no tales, as you say. And I want to hear everything that you have to tell me. And what if I don't want to talk? Then I shall, most regrettably, have to kill you. Rest assured, however, that I am an excellent shot. You would not suffer. Oh, that's good. Uh, believe me, I'm really assured. It is rather dark in here. I think we should conduct our business outside. Why should I make myself an easier target? If I fire at you, Mr. Stobart, I shall hit you even in here. But, unfortunately, my marksmanship will suffer. It could be the difference between hitting you in the leg or the groin. Boy, it sure is hot in here. No sudden moves, Mr. Stobart. Now then, where shall we start? How about being bosom buddies and you putting that gun away? Klausner, do you know where he is? Klausner? Who the hell's Klausner? I followed his trail here, as I believe did you. I never heard of this Klausner guy before. I just asked around about strangers and got lucky. Luck is a commodity that you are sorely pressed for now, Mr. Stobart. I have been watching you since you arrived in Marib. You have? I never noticed you. Precisely my point. You don't know what I know. Please, bear this in mind when answering my next questions. Now, where is Klausner? I'm telling you, I never heard of the man and I don't know where he is. Maybe we can cut a deal. What is to stop me killing you anyway? Yep, he's dead. Just around the corner of the cave. You want to look? I'll take your word for it. How did he die? Starvation or dehydration by the look of it. He was caught in this trap you were shouting about. Yes, I suspected as much. The Templars were not ones to give away their secrets lightly. Was there anything else? Well, there is something, I guess, but you can't move it. Yes? What is it? It's a treasure map. Your X marks the spot. Come now. Do you expect me to believe that? Yeah, okay. You caught me. But round the corner, there is something in Latin up on the wall. Latin? Do you remember it, Mr. Stobart? In Accidenta Sita Est, in Ora Mundi. Ah, the words of Caesar. Yes, that makes sense. Well, I know that roughly it means to the west, to the edge of the world. But what the heck is that about? It tells me where the sword of Performit lies. Mr. Stobart, I am sure that you are just what you appear to be. A gifted amateur. Thanks, I think. But I can no longer tolerate your interference. There is far more at stake than you realize. So what are you going to do? I regret that we must end this here and now. Your only choice now is whether you die like a man. Or like a dog. Okay, you're the boss. I'll take my medicine. You are an honorable man, Mr. Stobart. A rare breed. I should like to shake your hand. Yeah. Well... 
What the heck? Hold on! It's not every day a guy gets to die. Very well. Give me a minute to prepare myself. Uh, don't I get a last meal? I needed a plan, but was desperately running out of time. Thank <laughs> you.